Hi guys, it's Serena Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 139 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. So there's a driver and a passenger in a car accident. Each of them independently has a probability of 0.3 of being hospitalized, and each hospitalization occurs that loss is uniformly distributed on 0 to 1. So the number of possible probability is that if there's a driver and a passenger, <laughs> this is a D by the way, a driver can be hospitalized and the passenger be okay, or other backwards, driver be could be okay and the passenger is hospitalized, or they could both be both be hospitalized, or um they could both be okay. Those are my four choices, right? And so if let's say driver is hospitalized and the passenger is okay, the probability that the driver is going to be hospitalized is 0.3. And the probability that the driver is okay is, I mean the passenger is okay, is just 1 minus 0.3, so that's 0.7. Otherwise, this one's going to be the opposite. If both of them are hospitalized, it's going to be 0.3 times 0.3. And if both of them are okay, it's just going to be 0.7 times 0.7. But the little key thing is here, it says given that the total loss due to hospitalization is less than 1. We know the loss is uniformly distributed on 0 to 1. So the probability that only one person is distributed, but then however, if there is like, let's say we're in scenario three, where there's two people that are hospitalized, then we know each of these, the probability that the total loss due to hospitalization, if two of them are in the hospital is um, 0.5. Does that kind of make sense? Because if both of them went to the hospital and, and their loss is both uniformly distributed on zero to one, if you want it to be less than one, if you want the total loss to be less than one, then the probability that it's going to be less than one is half as likely. So that's why it's you have to make sure you multiply by 0.5 because it's a conditional probability. So then this is equal to going to be 0 0.21, 0 0.21, 0 0.045, and 0.49. Adding all these probability up together, since this is we're looking for the conditional probability, 0.955. What is the x value? Well, x value is the number of people who are hospitalized. So how many people are hospitalized in scenario one? Well, that's one. Likewise, it's going to be one for this one. There's two people hospitalized for this scenario, and then there's zero people hospitalized for that scenario. So then, now this is a simple expectation problem. Expectation that it is going to be zero. Anything times zero is going to be zero, so we're going to disregard that. The probability that it's going to be one is going to be these two added together. So that's going to be 0.42 divided by the total probability, which is 0 0.955, plus what is the probability that's going to be 2? Well, that's going to be equal to 0 0.045, divided by the total probability, which is 0 0.955. So this is equal to 0.534, which is your answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!